You have pentazamine in your inventory. Pentazamine is a mild tranquilizer used to treat clinical depression, obsessive compulsive behavior, and anxiety. It belongs to the benzodiazepinate family. And along with its antidepressant and anti-anxiety qualities, it suppresses convulsions. Take it when you have a tough shot ahead with a sniper rifle, and you need to minimize shakiness. But I guess you don't have one of those yet. Well, you can also try some if you're feeling really seasick. You got it. kidding. Otacon, I took the pentazamine and you're right. The seasickness is gone. Wow, really? What do you mean, really? You said... Drugs are mostly about placebo effect. You if you believe kidding. it's effective, it is. You're more naive than I thought. According to intelligence, this new model was designed to combat all the clone models of Metal Gear floating around in the world. Ocelot sold the Metal Gear specs to anyone with hard cash after he survived Shadow Moses. And raked in enough money to buy a decent-sized country in the process. But was that... was money really Ocelot's end objective? You think he had a deeper plan? I do. Nothing definite, but acquiring a large sum of money is always a good starting point for another project. Hmm. Anyway, every country that paid off Ocelot is racing to produce its own bipedal tank. One that can launch the so-called invisible nuclear warhead. If the whole world has a Metal Gear, the military dominance of the U.S. will disappear. In a world where Metal Gear has become commonplace, the only way to regain the upper hand is to possess a weapon even more powerful than Metal Gear. And that means a new Metal Gear. Exactly. The arms race must go on. The metal gear that the tanker is transporting is being developed under Marine Corps jurisdiction. But I've also heard a rumor that the Navy is working on its own metal gear. Any more info on the Navy's model? I tried to hack some out, but security was too tight. There's a lot of money being allocated, that's for sure. But every one of my investigations takes me to one name, then hits a brick wall. The name is The Patriots. Who are they? I wish I knew. I have no idea if this is an individual or an organization, even. But once we expose the presence of this Marine Corps Metal Gear to the world, maybe that will shake the Patriots out of a tree. This mission is partly about that, too. When the photos are in, we'll put them online and blow this whole thing wide open on the web. Don't you think that the authorities will just shut us down? Probably. But it won't matter. There'll be mirror sites spawning within minutes after those images go up. We won't even have to ask. People will be grabbing the pictures. There's no way anyone can stop it. Information has a life of its own. And as long as it lasts, it'll keep existing, even if it has to change its form or location. Life? Yeah, the desire of people to learn, the demand for data. That's called idle curiosity in my book. Everyone's got some of that. And sometimes it can pave the way for truth. That's what I believe. Snake, are you smoking? You really should quit. First of all, it turns you into an instant target in the dark. As for what it means to your health, I won't even go there. Remember I what Naomi so. said about lung cancer rates? Everyone knows that it's a dangerous substance. So's war, and I've done that all my life. Well, you can screw up your own body if you like, but think about other people, okay? This is the new kind that has almost no secondhand smoke. It won't bother anyone. Oh, really? Didn't I see you toss the butt off the bridge? Littering, polluting. You have a long way to go, my friend. You've picked up gel bandages, I see. When you're bleeding, select the bandage as an equipment to stop the blood. The bandage is a type of alginate dressing. It's a highly absorbent pad that gels blood and other fluids on contact. It releases calcium ions during absorption, hence the coagulating effect. I see a lifeboat. That's a fully enclosed fire-resistant model, equipped with its own oxygen pump. Those have a water-based cooling system and self-contained air supply on board. This means that even if the boat is sealed, there would still be air available for the crew and engine operation. It automatically rights itself if it's overturned and can withstand contact with fire for a significant period of time. But you won't be able to use that lifeboat. It's too noticeable, for one thing, and it just doesn't have the kind of speed we need. 
Hey, you have a chaff grenade. You can use that to interfere with enemy radio communications and electronic devices for a short time. The chaff grenade is a weapon that disperses aluminum foil or metal-coated glass and plastic fibers to confuse the enemy radar. What you have is a portable application of the chaff launchers built into fighter planes. When detonated, the grenade releases tiny chaff pieces as well as miniaturized active jammers using a small amount of explosives. The grenade can't create full-scale chaff corridors or chaff clouds but will form a radar cross-section area large enough for single personnel use. This weapon is for electronic interference only, though. It has no effect on enemy personnel. So, you've got rations now. These are military food supplies and allow you to recover some life with use. If it is equipped in advance, the ration will automatically be used and life will be regained when you receive damage. You can select it in the window and push the confirmation button to use the item on the spot. Rations were designed to be carried and eaten on the field. They're all about functionality and calories. They use special freeze-drying methods developed by the NROC. They're compact, portable, and last for weeks. The stun grenade in your equipment is for incapacitating enemies without killing them. Stun grenades are non-lethal weapons that knock out enemy personnel with an intense flash of light and a burst of sound. Once the grenade is airborne, a timed detonator ejects an internal cartridge using a small amount of explosives. The cartridge then explodes and releases a flash rated at over a million candle power with an accompanying bang of over 200 decibels. The combinations of the flash and the bang temporarily overwhelms human sensory perceptions. There are no projectiles released, so it can only knock out enemies, not wound them. Keep that in mind. 